Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hacks to the here, hope you're doing good. Uh, in this particular authentication series of labs, uh, till now we have solved these two uh, kind of labs, okay? One is password based and the other one is multi-factor authentication labs. But there is one more thing, balance, that is vulnerabilities in other authentication mechanism, which is no, which is not related to the password, which is not related to the multi-factor authentication, but which is a kind of session management related thing. Okay, so let us get into this particular one. And I hope in this particular one also there are multiple labs. So you can see, so let us solve all these. So in which our first lab is keeping user logged in. Okay, so there is something called keeping user logged in. Brute forcing a stay logged in cookie okay so let us go to this particular question and let us understand the question first uh, brute forcing a stayed logged in cookie this lab allows user to stay logged in even after they close their browser session okay the cookie used to provide this functionality is vulnerable to brute forcing so the cookie which is used to this stayed login uh, logged in or something like that uh, functionality is vulnerable it seems to brute forcing so let us do that to solve the lab brute force uh, carless cookie to gain access to the my account page okay there is something called my account page we need to uh, try to log in with carless but here carless is our victim we don't have the password but we have the password of uh, winner okay so without any delay let us get into the lab just copy this winner and yeah here is the lab and click on my account make sure your traffic is to burp is set to burp if you are using a uh, default browser of uh, ports figure i mean the burp suit you don't need to worry about the traffic so here the password is p-e-t-e-r peter and just hit enter okay and he said there are some cookies no here we only have the session cookie uh, let's log out once again and we missed something yeah here stay log in it is a check mark that we need to keep here so check in that check mark p e t e r peter and hit on login and click never save okay fine now just go to the cookie editor and see okay we have something called uh, stay logged in okay fine so this is a particular cookie that we need to brute force but how do we need to brute force see blindly uh, giving multiple characters capital letters small letters and putting a brute force attack will take at least like one week frankly speaking it will take one week to crack these kind of things but there is some there should be a proper logic for these kind of things and there will be some encodings or encrypting some salt will be there so we need to find out all those things uh, here within this stay login cookie okay so for that go to the uh, http history and where is that this is that particular my account okay so uh, here we have inspector just click on this inspector and within this inspector we have something called request cookie okay so just click on this so here we have the session cookie and as well as the stay login logged in okay when we click on this arrow uh, it will show some details regarding this thing so okay just a second i think there is no enough space here yeah okay so when when so it says when we base 64 decode this particular one uh, we get this one okay uh, okay fine uh, in that way let us directly take this particular one go to the decoder paste it decode as base 64 okay when we decode as base 64 we have the username and most probably this should be the password right so what shall we do now let us do one thing let us uh, try to uh, decode this okay uh, I'm removing removing this as of now and decode as base 64. No, we are not able to decode this as base 64. Uh, most probably, I think this is not a decoding kind of thing. It it must be some kind of hash. Mm, 
what are the hashes that we know most probably the hashes that we know are md2 md4 md5 right so just check with those those things md2 we have checked and now md4 uh, this is also a gibberish text uh, check with md5 okay this is also gibberish text are we decoding or encoding i'm not sure okay uh fine let us uh, do one thing let us take this particular thing uh to online and try with uh, a particular uh, uh online tool md5 hash free deco decrypt decryption attempts sure we'll do that Added. Okay, we found something called Peter here. Uh, I think in this decoder we cannot uh, directly decode. Uh, it's all about hashing here. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, let us click on Smart Decode. What it is doing? Okay. Uh, in the decoder we cannot decode a hash. Basically, we can only, I mean, decrypt a hash. Basically. Okay. So we found the password as peter so direct text is peter so what is happening now uh, let me go to this and go to the browser once again so copy this and this one is equals to base 64 encode of uh, wiener V E I N E R is it the correct spelling? Sorry, uh, V I E N E R. Sorry, V I E N E R, V I E N E R. And uh, if you can see here, uh, decoders base 64, uh, a colon is there just like this. So Mm, winner and uh, and then md5 hash of peter p e t e r peter so this is that particular password okay so in the same way uh, so if we want to decode this or if we want let's say if we want to encode this particular uh, peter then what are we going to do first we need to uh, do md5 hash okay first we need to md5 md uh, md5 hash and then we need to add a prefix add a prefix called w I E N E R winner just like this to that and then we need to do uh, base 64 encode okay so once we do uh, all these things to a particular password then this thing uh, uh, then this particular cookie appears and there is nothing unique uh, I mean the unique thing only is the password that's it the password and the username there is there is nothing that is going to change randomly ev with every session every session the same thing will come okay so now uh, the point is like what are all the cookies available in this particular uh, request so if we can see there is a session cookie and a stay logged in cookie okay so let us do one thing let us take this directly to the repeater and hit on send okay and let us take this to the decoder sorry uh, intruder and we will directly do a small try here okay so uh, let us remove this session because uh, the reason is session will automatically detect okay so let's say uh, even if we remove some things in this particular thing and hit on send we will get the same response because session is already active here but let's say if we are removing this particular thing and hit on send it is giving a 4302 that means it is completely relying on session if session is not there then it will relay on this i guess so let us go back once again and now 
remove this complete session at once okay uh, and just hit on send okay just a second mm, we have uh, removed this thing completely so replace this perfectly and hit on send so now if you can see even though we don't have the session we are getting this particular one okay so now in the intruder what we have to do is for just for checking purpose only i'm removing the whole session cookie and uh, in this cookie session i am adding a b c d and i am putting this adding this as a particular uh, payload okay so go to the payloads and type in peter p e t e r so this is a check that we are doing right now so the username is winner itself and the password is peter so now directly the peter will be uh, placed in this particular uh, payload place but we don't want this peter to be directly placed we want some kind of process that has to happen before the payload is getting submitted there okay so what to do so we need to add some process rules here for this payload uh, okay payload processing so the first rule what is the first rule that we got here md5 hash we need to do md5 hash and go and select for hash and here just select for md5 okay and click ok so if you can see there is a rule called md5 hash and then the next rule is we need to add a prefix a prefix of w i e n e r colon okay so this is a prefix rule that we need to put and if you can see here we need to add a prefix and then base64 encode okay so the next one is add uh, there is this encode in terms of base64 click ok so now what we will do uh, okay let us click on start attack and if you can see uh, 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 yeah the username is winner this means this is perfectly logged in even if we gave the payload directly as peter it has processed this peter into these three logics and placed that value into this place okay so that is how we are going to do so we are going to do this for every uh, uh, particular uh, password of carless okay so we have the passwords of carless here there is this sorry yeah here we have the passwords just open this particular link make sure you pinned it and here we have just try to copy these uh, passwords these passwords are given from are it is not going why we will start from down yeah right so just copy these passwords and uh, what we have to do is uh, go to here and go to the payload positions just clear everything hit on paste and go back to the position and change this particular username to carlos okay so now after you have changed uh, go to the payloads make sure everything is correct and you have put all the payloads here and you don't have to worry about the resource pool you don't have to worry of the options uh, but uh, yeah let's go ahead start attack okay i think we did not get it anywhere c a r l o s carless so just discard this particular one and see what mistake that we have done get okay okay stay logged in we have kept this as our payload and we are processing everything okay here we have we need to remove this url encode these characters just remove this particular one and hit on start attack again and now again we need to see if we got something no seriously of course we are getting this particular payload successfully here but i don't know what's wrong with this particular request 
I think there must be. I I think we need to take a fresh uh, request for this. Or uh, this click on my account. Okay. Discard and go to the proxy. Go to the fresh one. Where is this? This is the one. Just take this to the intruder and clear. Here put E A R, sorry R L O S, Carlos, and remove the session uh, cookie completely, and uh, add this particular one as a payload, and go to this place. Uh, here, sorry, we have all the passwords. Uh, just copy all these passwords. Copy and no, sorry, not in this. In this particular one, go to the payloads, paste. Hope all the passwords are here. And remove this URL encode, these characters, and click on add. Again, try to do these things. Hash first. MD5 hash. Sorry, where is this? MD5. Okay. Sorry. What is this? Hash. MD5. Okay. Again. Prefix. Prefix. Oh, I think we did a big mistake. Go back here and see that we gave here winner and here in the positions it is carless and this is really a big joke okay so let us change this to c a r sorry c a r l o s carless and hit okay again click on start attack this time there should definitely be a successful response and if you can see we got that particular response and it says uh where is this uh your user is your username is carlos if you want you can take this particular request to the browser or it's completely up to you congratulations you have solved the lab and that's it that's it for the day thank you bye bye